Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, Michael Fly. Doesn't really matter. I've been so very, very cold inside. I'm your host, guy whose laundry has been taking up the washer for the past three days. I'm wondering if life has any discernible meaning. I'm your host, guy who wishes he could get control of his finances. I've been an insignificant blip in the grand scope of the universe. I'm your host, Guy who still uses Hawaiian Aloha Febreze as a date night cologne. Guy who's totally gonna get around to learning that guitar one of these days. Guy who hopes you haven't noticed he only has one pair of jeans. Guy who doesn't send back food when servers make a mistake because he doesn't want to be a bother. Guy who secretly fist pumps when you cancel plans with him. Guy who stays off of an elevator if he accidentally gets out on the wrong floor. Guy who has a theory speeding tickets go away if you ignore them long enough. Guy whose heart rate is highest while waiting for the approved message on an ATM transaction. Guy who lost an imaginary argument in the shower this morning. Guy who lays awake in fear all night when a lady friend sleeps over. Guy who wants to try looking people in the eyes more when he talks to them, but only remembers to right before going to bed. Guy who spends half an hour crafting a text only to delete it in indifference and crippling self-doubt. I'm your host, Guy who can't believe he hasn't gotten bored of doing these things yet. Guy who takes back his bless yous if you sneeze a third time in a row. Guy who has something pithy and sarcastic for a bio, like how he doesn't know how to write bios. Guy who occasionally walks away empty-handed from a vending machine because there were too many options. Guy who lacks the patience to not bite into his halls or hard candies. Guy who taps his leg in public to show he really enjoys the music he's listening to. Guy who's thankful you didn't ask any follow-up questions about that thing I lied I said I knew about when I was trying to look cool. Guy who really needs to cut his stupid dopey hair. Guy who finally got his stupid dopey hair cut. Guy who writes in all capitals so he doesn't have to memorize two alphabets. Guy who doesn't care about the closest parking spot. Guy who spends way too much time calculating how late he show up to social events. Guy who's in denial his shampoo ran out a week ago. Guy who spots the girl he had a crush on years ago at the grocery store but doesn't have the courage to say hi so instead he just stands near her hoping she'll recognize him and initiate the hello but it never happens. Guy who leaves his accidental likes while browsing super old pictures of people because the damage is already done. Guy who's forgot your name but feels he's known you too long to ask for it again. Guy who uses Movember basically as an excuse not to buy a new razor. Guy who loosens and tightens the same tie over and over so he doesn't have to learn how to do it up again. Guy who's weird attempt at facial hair is getting grosser literally by the minute. Guy who pretends the bus driver is his personal chauffeur he's hired to drive people around when he wants to feel like a philanthropist. Guy who can't believe he still hasn't found something better to do with his time. Guy who's never gotten over his high school crush. Guy who's not particularly religious but still prays that this is just an in-between phase of a glorious spirit to come. Guy who can't believe the 90s was 20 and not 10 years ago. Guy who's taking this homeless look too far. Guy who stretches before he leaves places to make himself seem more athletic. Guy who hasn't said happy birthday to you on social media because he was trying to avoid Star Wars spoilers. Guy who's gonna go eat a lean cuisine by the microwave. Guy whose primary New Year's resolution is to never grow a beard again. Guy who just finally started writing the year in his dates as 2015. Guy who finally came to his senses and realized his beard made his jawline look like it had struggled out of a barbed wire fence. Guy who's totally for real gonna start those New Year's resolutions today. Guy who's finally ready to start taking this seriously. So let's hop right into it. Our top story tonight, a man from Melbourne, Australia, faces stiff opposition to his signature shaped like a... Really? Shaped like a penis. Ah, should've came to rehearsal. Guy who's spent the past 26 consecutive weekends Wondering if dignity is just a concept. Guy who wishes street cred and optimum points were interchangeable. Guy whose biggest intimacy fear is a girl spotting how gross his pillows are inside their cases. Guy who based on this stain cannot yawn and drink coffee at the same time. Guy who gets laid so infrequently he often rediscovers where he stashed his condoms. Guy who will recklessly spend $100 on groceries and try and pack them into only one plastic bag to save five cents. Guy who's been told he dances like regular people's seizure. Guy who's so unphotogenic in every picture it looks like he's mid-sneeze. Guy who's so bad at imitating accents he couldn't offend another culture if he tried. Guy who's so broke loneliness on Valentine's Day comes as a relief. Guy whose wardrobe consists of more hoodies than a Trayvon rally. Guy who refuses to develop a palette for coffee and wine so he can keep being cheap. Guy who somehow managed to go 25 years without learning the difference between pretty girls flirting and just being nice to him. Guy who slows his pace while walking into movie theater so he doesn't have to deal with the pressure of choosing a seating area for the group. Guy whose trust issues are almost entirely based on cookies with secret raisins in them. Guy who can stretch the last ounce of a shampoo bottle long enough to found a second Hanukkah. Guy who paid for his Tim Hortons meal with nickels and told the cashier he was trying to get rid of some change when they both knew he was covering for poor money management skills and trying to make it to his next paycheck. Guy who still hasn't figured out how to fill the weird moments of silence on this show without an audience. 
Guy who dreams of one day being able to afford the toilet paper that's not on sale. Guy whose oven gets its most use twice a year when he has to relearn which buttons move the time an hour. Guy who uses cereal as a meal replacement often enough that he's never tasted it stale. Guy who doesn't like Cadbury cream eggs, but on principle gets angry they seem to be getting smaller. Guy who wishes he was as careful with his finances as he is tearing the perforated lines on the checks keeping him alive another two weeks. Guy who can believe it's snowing outside in Canada in April. Guy who just found out this weekend if you give someone back their last month's rent uh, to move out a month early, uh, but deduct the unpaid hydro and internet from the previous month from it, it apparently means you're a f***ing loser who f***s off to their phone conversations. Who no. knew? Learn something every day. Guy whose fashion sense is dictated by the gift cards he receives every other year. Guy whose main source of anxiety can be directly linked to actively avoiding spoilers for popular television and film that he never gets around to watching. Guy who's dodged so many calls from bill collectors, he's starting to develop PTSD from his own ringtone. Guy who blah, 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 40 episodes and I eat cereal milkless or something. Guy whose music library is primarily updated based on memes and the deaths of cultural icons. Guy formerly known as Guy who updates his music library primarily based off of memes and the deaths of cultural icons. Guy whose refrigerator might as well be a tomb for the produce he never actually gets around to utilizing. Guy who really doesn't mind when people stand on the left side of the escalator because it gives him time to sneak in those desperately needed micro sleeps. Guy who didn't notice take a two week hiatus from the show. Guy who crafts his super long texts in his his phone's notes folder to hide how long he deliberates on basic sentence structure. Guy who still fantasizes about saving everyone from a rogue gunman even though he's never so much as been in a fist fight. Guy who wouldn't be surprised if any day now his credit score showed up on an endangered species list at so low. Guy who inexplicably skipped doing several episodes because his life lacks discipline but felt obligated to bring his body of work to a satisfying interim conclusion. Guy who's incredibly thankful to everyone who let me waste so much of their time. Good night. Ooh, forgot to do this. Oh. You know what? F it. Might as well just say it. I've been your host. My name is Michael Flynn. <laughs>